Exclusive. Okay, I'm gonna call you Miss Exclusive. You are from the tribe of Levi from the nation of Israel. You are not Haitian. You are not black. You are not so. You are not American. You are a child of God from the nation of Israel. That's right. And God requires something from you, sis. Did you know that? Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Miss Exclusive. I'm gonna call you that. God requires something of you. Listen good. Don't let them don't let them stir you away. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. It's something that God requires of every black man and every black woman. Every Hispanic out here. God requires something. Read. And now Israel. What do you do? Who are the Israelites? The Israelites are not over there in Israel right now. They are in captivity. Yeah. Why? For breaking God's laws. Read. And now Israel. What do the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord. God says you must fear him. Sister, God says you must fear him. You fear God, sis? You fear God? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something though. You fear God, right? What God say about the pants you got on? Do you know? Sis, sis, don't walk away. This is this is the bread of life. This is the bread of life right here. You walk away. If we were stepping, everybody be around here cheering us on. If we was, if we were giving out dog bags of weed, right. everybody would be lined up to the street, to the street. Right. Then you shaking your head, you know. But guess what, brother? God says He requires something of you. What's your nationality, bro? What's your nationality? I'm a Negro. You're a Negro. So you calling yourself a Negro? Already. Is Negro in the Bible? It's not Negro, but Negro. Negro is only a color, bro. You just saying you black. Yeah, I'm black. You're not black. Are you the, are you the color of your shirt? Yeah. No. <laughs> so guess what? So guess what? What's this? No, it's not. <laughs> it actually isn't. Well, Brad, your race, your nationality. Hold on, brother. Listen, listen, listen. Your nationality is Israel. It comes from slavery. What? Exactly. Exactly. So, so, so all of us be brainwashed. Right, 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 right. So I'm not brainwashed. All okay. I'm not doing is giving you what everybody else gives you. So you can listen to I'm with, okay, okay, okay. Now we can get somewhere. Now we can get somewhere. Now you say you need bro. Why? Because that's what they teach you, right? So, get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 47. Look at this. Watch this. Watch this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. In verse 37. Read that. And thou shalt become an astonishment. This is a curse that the Most High put on the Israelites due to their disobedience. It says you should become a curse. A certain people on the earth is cursed. Read. Thou shalt become listen, listen, an listen. astonishment. Uh-huh. A proverb. A proverb. And a byword. What is a byword? What is that? Exactly. You calling yourself Negro is a byword. You hold on, hold on, listen, brother, listen, listen. You calling yourself African American is a byword. Isaiah 65, 15. Watch this. Watch this. Isaiah 65, verse 15. Because you are not black. You're not Negro. You're not African. You're not Egyptian. You're not Greek. You are an Israelite. Watch this. Read me. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 65. That's a perfect question. That's a great question. Watch this. Read, read that first. The book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 15. That's a, that's a damn good question. Read. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. God says you shall leave your name for a curse because God calls you Israel. Negroes are curse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me speak. I'm going to let you speak, brother. I'm going to let you speak. I'm gonna show you something. They control us in the Bible? No, they gave the slave to the Bible right there. Exodus 216. Watch this. Exodus 216. Hey, you ever seen the movie Birth of a Nation? Did you see the movie Birth of a Nation? Did you see the movie Birth of a Nation? Did you see the movie Birth of a Nation? Did you see the movie Birth of a Nation? No, that's pork. God says don't eat pork. Did you see the movie Birth of a Nation? Yes or no? Brother, yes or no, brother? Yes or no? Did you see the movie Birth of a Nation? We're not turning. Okay, read that. The book of the the book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 16. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say that again. Say that again, Captain. We are at a, a historic black college. How long have we been out here been residing for about three, four hours now? Only two people have seen Birth of a Nation. At a historic black college.
conscious, that means y'all are a little bit more conscious of who you are. But that's why he only earned seven million dollars total so far. Because our people don't want to, they don't want to hear this. This is too much of reality. You give me basketball wise, even though nobody on the show is a basketball wife. Give me love and hip hop. Right. Even though show have a damn thing to do with hip hop. Bring it out. Give me everything against God to not deal with reality, brother. Brother, we need you to pay attention, brother. It's some. The Bible says real quick. Oh, Jose, four and six. Get right back Will you see this? Nobody want to see this. This is what birth of a nation was all about. Guess what? You, do, do you know the real reason why it didn't do anything? Because it make you think. It attacks this. Nat Turner was a preacher. He used the Bible to go to plantation to plantation to make Negroes docile with the Bible. That's what so-called Christian had to do today. But guess what? Why he stopped doing it? Why Nat Turner stop going to um, the plantation with a few scriptures telling Negroes, hey, slavery is good. Suffer. Because the reason why we said that, because you said earlier that this book was used in slavery to what? Oh, to control us. That's true. And the movie brings that out. But it wasn't the whole Bible being used. You know that, right? No, it wasn't the Old Testament. They was using select scriptures. Like Christianity, they used John 3.16. It's, they send the whole Bible with John 3.16. Right. We don't read. Nobody out here reads the Bible at all, period. Nobody out here. You don't read it either. You want to know how I know? Because I asked you, what's your nationality? Was you read the Bible? You already know. When I read the Bible, I found out. When these men read, we found out. When we didn't read, we was walking around here in parades like this. Dressing like that. Damn bangers telling drugs. Because of this, read that real quick. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and 6. My people! Who? My people! God ain't talking about everything. His people, the same people he always been dealing with, is what? Are destroyed! Are what? Destroyed! Look at our people. Turn around, look at them. We on one hand say, uh, police, stop killing us. Which are white cops, right? But we celebrate the white man's Christmas. We celebrate the white man's Thanksgiving. Bring it out! We celebrate the white man's sports! Bring it out! What do you think everybody out here for? To serve the Lord? No, we don't have for homecoming to keep the white man's football going on. That's right. So we, we understand Bring it out. people been taught to hate each other unknowingly. It was a time, that's these older dudes. When the black man came up and spoke, people stopped. We've been so destroyed, black man on the street corner. If you ain't entertaining, nigga, you ain't nothing. You don't even want, we didn't have one, we had 11 year old stop. We got grown men that won't stop to hear God's words. You understand me? Why do you think we are? Why do you think we are? Because, like, what word? What is the word we're trying to get you to understand? Damn. Who are you? Because you got to know who the hell you are to know what direction you're going in. We've been walking around African Americans and look how African Americans dress. Look how Haitians dress. Look how Puerto Ricans and Dominicans dress. Israelites don't dress like this. If our people actually read the Bible, our sisters will know that God said in the Bible, it's a sin to wear pants. That's right. Is that right, mothers? Is that right? Come real quick. They said if you want to have have anything from a Negro, do what? Put it in the book because we're not going to read We like pictures. Right? So watch this real quick. Read Hosea 4 and 6 now, I want you to read it. Because as men, it starts with us waking up. A lot of times we want to jump to the sisters first. No. We have to take that stand and they're going to follow. Always have been, always will be. Watch this real quick. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We are being destroyed, brother, because we lack knowledge. When I say I'm an African American, when I see you, what I see? When I see you, what I see? Nothing. That's why I, I'll rob you, steal from you, sell drugs to you, pimp you out, pimp your mom out, pimp your daughter out. Because I don't see Christ in you. We don't see each other like that. We see each other as African Americans, nigga. We see each other as Haitians, niggas. You understand what I'm saying? 
It's no identity, no, no substance to it. But when we know who we are, then guess what? We start operating differently. Because God gave us what? Commandments. Thou should not kill. Therefore, I don't care how you dress, what you got, I'm not going to take it from you. That's right. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Watch this real quick. Finish that up real quick. Then I'm going to show you something. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. We've been out here for at least four hours showing our people God's knowledge. Not a sermon. Bring you verse for verse what God said. And I'll put it all past. But they will go to church tomorrow, bright and early, with no Bible, and give money to the preacher. Who don't bring out no Bible? Why is that? Why is that? God is telling us this, Psalms 94, 16. So you stopping right now, brother, believe it's not just coincidence. It's the reason why you stop. And his brothers over here listening, they got some sense, but they don't want to be the smart guy in the group. They want to be cool and peer pressure thing. Still works in college. You still got peer pressure. Watch this. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Yeah, read. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? Bring it out. And who will stand for me against the workers of iniquity? Who's going to do that? That's man. We got to stand up. You understand that? We have a big responsibility, brother. And the more that we not take our position and push it on the women, this is what you see the women are going to be doing. You see what they're doing. They're trying to be the white woman. Let's keep it real. They don't even love themselves. So if we don't stand up and get the, first get the knowledge ourselves and then instruct them, this is what's going to always happen. We're going to always have baby mamas. We always going to have single parent households. We always going to have drugs in the community. Pimping, game banging in the community. Because we got to step up, brother. You understand that? And guess what? That's a real man. We got a lot of little boys out here. We got grown men that are boys. You older, if you are over 40, some of your damn daughters are out here right now. Your nieces and nephews are out here dressing all provocatively. Y'all get an L. You know what an L is in school? No, they call it F. You get an F for what? Fail. Failure. You didn't do the job. A lot of these older folks that fail. Look. Look at the young man. We got young men showing their butt. Look at him. And that's fashion. Bring it out. They showing their butt, brother, with a belt. And it comes from homosexuality. That's right. Did y'all know that? Young men, all that swag, all the little white and all that. That's not our culture. We are we are royalty of the earth. God's according to the Bible. But we walking around today as little boys, cartoon characters showing our butt. You understand what I'm saying? We have to instruct the young man. You understand that? The older men are still trying to chase young women. The older women are still trying to be young. They call them cougars. Who's gonna stand up for the most high God? You see? Get out. All up and down there. All of us ain't chasing women. We ain't out here with the Bible trying to get some money. The Lord said in the last days he was going to pour out the spirit and that the man was going to stand up, right? That's you see before you. It's your time now, brother. You got sense. Why the sense of these older dudes that been around longer and seen more? Watch this. Yes, sir. Jump back to uh, Jose real quick. And I want to ask you a question. I ain't forgot it. Jose for a sense. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Our people don't know who the Israelites we think we African Americans, black, Nubian. Some of us are trying to get real deep in that African stuff and start calling ourselves we Shawnees and all this other stuff. Now, according to the Bible, we are the Israelites. Watch this, we don't. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Look at how many people reject the knowledge. Look, they reject it. You know how y'all just stop and say, F y'all, this is rejected. That's rejected. Because we're bringing up the Bible, read. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, what God gonna do? I will also reject thee. You know what that means? By God rejecting you? Let the police kill him. Let drugs fill up that community. Make another daughter a baby mama. Raise another single parent household. Since you don't want to do what I say, dude, I'm gonna reject you too. But we told the religion that what? You come as you are. God loves everything. As long as you believe in the blood of Jesus, you can do whatever you want to do. Right. The laws are done away with. How we know? Because we all was there. But when you start reading, you're like, wait a minute, preacher. Show me that in the Bible. 
Son, oh Lord, hallelujah. Show me the scripture. If we don't get it, brother, that's why we stay night. That's why we out here to teach our people. But our people love to be entertained. Hey, read John chapter 8, verse 32. Read it. That's my scripture. Read that real quick. I got that tattoo. That's a scripture. I got that tattoo. Now, we're not supposed to have tattoos, you know. Well, read it all. I'm going to show you that real quick. Read, read John 8, verse 32. Read Revelation. The book of John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So we are here to give our people the truth. Now, when it comes to tattoos, read, pull up real quick. Because just like pants, just like pants, listen to me real quick. Just like pants, it's common now, it's fashion. Since everybody doing the black woman, she jumps right on into it. She, she don't know where it comes from. You know, why pants was a war during slavery? Why the woman wasn't wearing pants during slavery? Explain that to me. Because what? They, you're still a woman. You, they need to break you in that kind of manner. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this real quick. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Read it again. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. So if you know who you are, that you are an Israelite, that you ain't that African American, West Indian, Jamaican garbage. You understand God gave you laws. And within your laws, your constitution, He said, as a man or a woman, we can't get tattoos. Now, I have tattoos. It's busy. We all did it, but we didn't get no more once we found out, wait a minute, God ain't, ain't with them. That's what you gotta do. Now go to Revelations, because I know what you're going to. Revelations. Revelations, I'm trying to figure out chapter. I think Revelation 20, I think it's 20, 19, I think it's all. It's talking about, it's talking about, it's talking about the best. It's talking about the best. God has, God has the best. No, it wasn't a tattoo. Because we just read. I just said, we just, I didn't say tattoo. I said, I didn't read. The book of Revelation chapter 19 verse 16. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh now you have a smartphone? You have a smartphone? Vesture is clothing. Now watch this. Hold on, read. King of kings. No, read it again, read it again. And he hath on his vesture. Vesture clothing, watch, read. And on his thigh. Where you go? Now do you go? Do your clothing stop praying? It go down. <laughs> so Christ got tattoo on his thigh. Hold on. Right here. Hold on. Christ's clothing stop right here. No. If that's your clothing, listen to me. Follow me, brother. Seriously, listen. I, I, need, I need you to listen with me. That's your is clothing. So, so, Vesher, so his Vesher's clothing must have stopped right here because this is where your thigh is. So his clothing stopped here. No, no, no. We ain't got anybody shoes and buy the how would you prove that? How would you prove that about it? It's not in there, bro. Read it again. If it's one set of brothers that read the Bible, it's these sets of brothers right here. We don't read it. It's not talking about tattoos. It's not talking about it. Written on his vesture and the location of all his vestures by his thigh, still on his vesture clothing, was written there. It wasn't tattooed on his thigh. That would make him. What man is getting tattooed? Hold on. Think about it. Think about it. What man would get a tattoo on his thigh? I'm going to ask you a question. You saying that the king of kings is getting tattoos on his thigh? Brother, brother, that's, that's, a, that's error. Even though you have hands no, like no. this. Give me that no. back in Leviticus. Yeah. Uh, the book of Leviticus, chapter 
Corinthians chapter 19 and verse 28. And it's not. Ye shall not make any claims in your flesh for the dead. You hear that? We can't get tattoos. It's written twice in the Bible. So guess what? Now that you under, if you truly love God and love Jesus, you won't get no more tattoos now. Because God said, don't do it. You understand that? So they said, if you got them already, oh, it's the end of the world, I'm condemned, I can't, I can't get into the kingdom of heaven, no. It's mean, don't do it no more. That's what, we, what repentance is, all right? So watch this real quick. Go to Acts 3.19 real quick. So I read to you the Psalms, but brother, our people need men to stand up. You understand what I'm saying to you? You understand? But you have to stand for your people. You know what I do? Okay. 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 What about the young brothers that's not veterans? The same. Like the brothers we see right here. But what about your people that's here together in the hood? At some point, we have to get to the next generation, right? right, right. So how we gonna do that? This is the this is just the, the a, a, t a taste of what you see us do. This is small. Now, is you let these young them men know that they're Israelites, or you let them know that after the marriage today? So this is what you got to start standing up for. This is the doctrine. How is it on keep? keep my can, can I steal? Can I steal? Wrong. Wrong answer. Wrong answer. As a young man, as a young man, if I told you that I want to go rob somebody, you don't tell me that's my that's my prerogative. If I want to do it, you want to do it? No, no, no. Can I steal? You can't. Should I steal? No. Why? That's how we're supposed to speak. What I want to do, that's error. No, you can't do that because God said it. Give me Exodus 20. So when a young man said, hey, I want to go be the stick up man. No, you can't do that. You're an Israelite and we don't do that. God got laws against it. Let me show it to you. Grab it real quick. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 15. Read. Thou shalt not steal. So I don't care what you see somebody get. You have to go about it a different way. Work hard for it. Um, um, see if you can get some help with it. But I can't go take from my brother. Take from my sister. And we got to show them that God, because a lot of folks doing this thinking God is with them, brother. You know that, right? A lot of folks in their ignorance, they robbing folks and saying, God, let me be able to hit a lick today. Let me, folks are thinking like that. Because nobody's telling them that it's a sin against God. You understand that? Come on back, officer. Come on back, officer. So as, as brothers, we got to stand up, man. The time for games, look at our people. We don't have another generation, if a generation, because they try to turn all the boys gay. And turn it, and our sisters into, if not gay too, homes where it creates single parent houses. No families, brother. What's that be left behind if we ain't standing out here for our people? I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.